What's up, TV fans? And of course, welcome to our week analysis for week four against this time against Jack, or as he chooses to call himself, just me. Well, <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> it's not funny. And well, we know Jack from way, way behind. It actually was. He's one of my actually first friends when it comes to pocket tubing. So kind of nice going up against him. I know he's a scrub, which is nice. It means we have an easy challenge, and I actually bought something just for him. Just for him. Earl Grey. Yuck. Anyway, his team is as follows. Um, let's see, just let's see here. Mega Medicham, Bishop, Crobat, Landris, Volcarona, Ditto, Slowking, Venusaur, Agron. Tough team, actually. Really tough team. But, I am tougher. You know why? Viking. That's right. I'm a Viking. Ugh! So anyway, my team is as follows. Grapeon. Yes. Uh, well, got enough speed to outspeed a possible jolly uh, Landorus. That's pretty much the same thing I need here. We got Toxic. No. <laughs> we got Ice Fang, Knockoff, Sword Stance, and... Uh, damn, I'm really actually trying to remember my complete moveset. It's on the screen, obviously. Don't mind me. Had something more there, I swear. So, anyway, next Pokemon is Thunderous. Uh, we got Hidden Power Ice, Thunderbolt, then we got actually Nasty Plot and uh, Substitute because he really doesn't need. Like, I was debating getting Agility, but I don't really need it because his only mod is faster is actually his Acrobat, which is a threat to Thunderous in the first place, so eh, I can deal with it. And if I pull up an ass player, pretty much wins the game. And uh, being a bit bulkier this time, or actually a lot bulkier, we actually are max speed, house speed, everything. But uh, I have leftovers. In case you get off left or get off self rocks, I can kind of survive that situation, which is kind of what I want to get to. Next one is Sceptile. And enough speed here to actually outspeed Crobat. And we've got Rock Slide, Earthquake, Leaf Blade, and Sword Stance. Pretty nice. It, it's, it, it's pretty nice. And uh, nothing really big to it. Uh, if I pull up a sw uh, sword stance, I can uh, also pretty much sweep his team outside of Landris. Now, Landris, of course, we was debating getting Hidden Power Ice. But then again, what the hell can a Landris do to us? It can U turn. But it really doesn't do that much damage on me. A Leaf Blade actually does a 2 hit KO even after Intimidate, which is. That's kind of cool. I, 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 I can live with that. I kind of forget Sceptre's 1 on 10 uh, base attack. That is nothing to trap at. Nothing at all. I am dangerous. <laughs> Alright, next man is Dawnfan. The Dawnfan was. This is probably one of those I really, really was doing back and forth. But I decided that I'm better off going for Toxic with it. Um, we have a few speed here to actually just deal with aggro. And if, if we are. If we go in for a speedy aggro, at least I can get a. Kind of baited, I guess, and plus I kind of want to be uh, fast enough in bringing something weird. Uh, it's nothing to it because it doesn't really matter how much bulk I'm running, though I am an impish, pretty not nasty dark fan. Bulky fuck. I need Stealth Rocks, I need it for Volcarona. <sighs> I don't want to deal with Volcarona, but yeah, Stealth Rock has to be there. And I wear Rapid Spin to deal with the rocks myself, obviously. <laughs> And then with that followed up with, of course, Toxic and Earthquake. Toxic is basically there to uh, ensure that in some way or another that uh, I can deal with um, with the Slow King. Slow King is going to be the number one switch in and I really want to be able to deal with that. Um, so yeah, I think, that's, I think that's the right call to make. Uh, I actually do that. And um, I was debating Ice Shard, I need Ice Shard for the likes of Crobat, because Crobat walls me at this time. But I have other means for Crobat, and I shouldn't be put in a situation where that comes to fruition. But uh, if I lose this game, it's going to be to a situation where I don't have Stone Edge or Ice Shard. Because I, I do believe I am in a situation where a fifth move slot is kind of welling me down. And I can't really sacrifice Rapid Spin this game. I shouldn't need to. I should win this game easily anyway. Next one is actually Volcarona. No, <laughs> Volcanion. <laughs> Same freaking star. I'm just. I'm telling you guys. That's that's troublesome. As always, troublesome. Anyway, 
it's bulky. Uh, max modest, max special attack, max HP. Um, substitute steamer. Well, I got stuffing my throat. Steamer option. Um, flamethrower, will o wisp, and substitute. It's basically there for a ditto. Um, since he actually has one of his own, um, don't want to be able to deal with that. And um, if I wall ditto by using my volcano so he can't touch me, that means I get a free sub. Uh, he's very likely to be scarfed anyway, which means he can struggle to death. And that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. And the last one is actually Guard War. Timid set, enough speed to have speed Venusaur, which means max speed actually. Uh, timid. Uh, probably the opposite said that. Uh, Moonblast. Let's see what Moonblast. Psychic. Thunderbolt for Slow King. And Will Wisp, since we're faster than his Bishop. And should be able to lure him for a possible Sucker Punch or even uh, that it goes for an Iron Head. And we can Wisp it while that situation comes. Now Moonblast does 60%. If I push it down that line, I'll use it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the team actually. So I'm really, really, f I'm, I'm feeling this is gonna work. Um, I feel really comfortable against this matchup. Um, I do believe Septal just wins the game. Like if I play that one right, it's gonna work. But uh, yeah, I'm not feeling intimidated whatsoever. And now for the common voice. And the guys are scared of things. And he's gonna say some stupid stuff that ain't right. Because we're gonna win. <laughs> Alright, so that obviously is a complete team. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, actually, I had a lot of fun recording that. Um, so we're actually battling tomorrow, or obviously first day, Friday thing, but I'm actually recording this on Sunday. We're battling it actually this Monday. And I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm still undecided when it comes to Jonathan whether I should have Toxic or Ice Shard. It's something I'm still juggling back and forth with. Uh, I'll, I'll obviously keep you guys updated when that upload comes, what I decided to go for. I feel that. I don't want to re-record this because <laughs> I have a busy week at work and this is probably my best time recording this, so Sunday is the way to go. Uh, other than that, I feel extremely confident in this game. There aren't really too much you can do to my team, but I need to play offensively. I really, really need to play offensively. Why I have, to, I do believe that it's two mons with substitutes uh, is only because I can force it switch a lot and I can probably use that to the best of advantage, really. And Thunderous in theory just wins me the match, like, I can sack it, uh, I probably will sack it, um, <laughs> to get some opening, of course, Medisham and Bishop are annoying mons, but they are probably, like, one of them is definitely gonna take Thunders on, but if I can get heavy damage on one of them, I'm gonna be just fine. Um, other than that, um, like, the team I'm seeing him bring in is definitely Mega Medisham, Crobat, Bishop, um, Slow King, definitely Slow King. Slow King was kind of good. Um, yeah. What was that? I'm actually trying to recollect his team. Uh, what, have I, what, what the hell have I been building for? Uh, Landris must be a part of this team for sure. And I guess maybe Venusaur? I mean, Venusaur does take on a few of my mods, definitely Sceptile. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Venusaur in this battle. And uh, I have to, of course, stay awake for that earthquake, which of course just solves things for him. Uh, I should say this also. Oh, he actually benched for Ditto, so Ditto is going to be a part of his team too. So, but those seven mons are going to be a part of his team. Mm, he must use Ditto. Uh, I guess Venusaur is not a part of his team then. So we got Mega Medicham, um, Crobat, Landorus, Ditto. I'm thinking uh, Bishop and. Uh, Obviously, one more. I don't know what is with me. Uh, <laughs> I think I said I said at least the team I think is bringing. But never mind. Um, when it comes to me, though, I actually benched uh, my Cicero sign for um, for um, for Slow King or Slow Bro. It was only to make sure that his Medicham doesn't come with uh, hit him or uh, uh, Ice Punch, who rather than sacrifice for Thunder Punch to be able to deal with my well. My slow bro, which I'm not bringing, it was more defensive response to kind of getting Will down, and I kind of don't want him to bring the likes of Volcarona, so not having a sister on my team would probably ensure him to not use it. So because Volcarona is annoying for this team, I, I will say this: as reason I have Stealth Rocks in the first place, it might not be needed, but it's like a safe precaution. But that's pretty much the same, or the same, or uh, the whole team. Um, if I lose this game, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Uh, a small detail, 
uh, because Jack is a very, very good player, and I feel that we play rather even. So I definitely know that he is going to have a few tricks up his sleeve, and I really hope I don't fall for them, because uh, I know that we both are very, very high offensive players. Now, he can play defensively, but I'm pretty sure he won't do it against me, because he knows that never pays off. Um, so yeah, that, that's something I'm kind of scared of. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I should win this game. There aren't really too many factors. Uh, I have a few mods that can throw him off, basically. Uh, and that, of course, is, um, is what I'm going for. I really hope that I will be in a situation where I can just rip apart his team. That, because that would obviously be what I'm going for. Uh, so yeah, with all that said, guys, I want to, of course, thank you for watching, if anything. And uh, yeah, I obviously see you in when the battle comes up. So, wish me luck, and of course, go Garchomp or whatever, and may Odin be with you, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.